here's what I got so far. Got the uh, radiator relocator kit. The other day I uh, spent a little more time. I was trying to get the air box off because the amount of dirt in the air box, I just took a rag. I'm in the process of just wiping it out and cleaning it out. I haven't started sealing the uh, drain yet. The drain's going to be over here in the corner closest to the shifter. You can see it down there. You just take some silicone to seal that. So I got that cleaned out. I got the radiator removed right now. What you're going to have to do is extend the hose for the, uh, I'm not sure which one's the inlet and outlet, but the inlet, the hose for the reservoir, and the other one. Those are the three you're going to have to extend. So it's going to move from here to on top of the rack. Uh, got the uh, shield off of the air box. So this is where your intake snorkel is going to go. It's going to come around here and then go up and all that's all the pieces for that and you've got the the transmission you're gonna have to come up run down the frame and then come up and then you've got this one right here which should come through here and go up I haven't started putting any of those pieces on yet but uh, I'm in the process of getting everything tightened back up I'm gonna put the uh, front end back on now that I got the radiator off I'm gonna tighten everything back down move the hoses back to work and I can extend those and uh, I'm about to go clean out the radiator I remove the uh, fan from that you've also got a vent on the fan uh, you have to extend that out but this is a radiator I'm gonna take this uh, opportunity to go through and spray it out good and take a brush to it and make sure that I get everything out I can while I've got it out so uh, I'll update it as I move forward all right, making a little bit of progress. So I decided to pull the uh, the front end off. I had it off for the radiator, but then I put it back on. But had some trouble getting some stuff run through, so I pulled it back off. Easiest one to put on is obviously for the intake. It's just uh, just bend right here. They've already got it pre-glued. So comes right up on the left hand side. This side is where I run into some trouble. Getting this piece on wasn't that bad. Uh, you just put in some hot water and it slips right over. I'm tightening it down. This piece right here, I got mixed up with this 90 right here. So it wouldn't quite make it all the way across. Uh, they don't really have great instructions. The uh, pictures are in black and white, so I couldn't tell. I couldn't really see anything, especially last night when it was getting dark. So I just zip tied this down to the, the frame rail so I keep it tucked over the side. Got a 90. It's kind of smashed a little bit, but it, to get it away from that shock over there, uh, they got this piece pre-glued. It tucks right in, comes off to the right. Then for the lower part of the transmission, uh, you got a rubber 90. Comes right up, turns another rubber 90, and it tucks in. Runs right out the center. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to get them lined up. Uh, started cutting out some of the, trimming the the front a little bit just keep it behind the line you can see where the the cover is and also trimming this one i'd recommend probably using a dremel tool i'm doing it with a box knife and uh it's not easy i'm trying not to uh cut too much off so i'll probably trim it up a little bit more so i'm gonna get that put on and uh see if i can get them run through and get everything tightened up and uh what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to set the uh, the front end back on, make sure it comes through where it's supposed to, and then I, I bought a uh, little tube of silicone, just some cheap, quick sealant. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around each one right here and make sure that the seals are good, just some extra protection. All right, let's see where it is. I'm also going to show you, I think I already pointed this out. Got to seal that down there. That is the uh, vent or the um, drain for the airbox. Uh, one thing I almost forgot is back here. You uh, it's run into the frame, so what you do is you take it off and add a clear tube on the other end of the check valve. Got everything tightened back up. Ran the clear tube along down behind the, uh, the frame, down the side of the snorkel, up, and then I bend it over facing down and made sure I had full motion on my steering wheel where it wouldn't bind up. 
All right, I got the uh, snorkels all tightened up, sealed up. Vent line on for the gas tank, the front fender back on. Got the uh, radiator relocator kit mounted to the front bar. Mounted down. I went ahead and uh, here's the uh, factory hose. I went ahead and extended it right here. Put a hole in the fender, came through, tightened it up. I had to be real careful because this hose is real flimsy, so it was knotting up around corners. So you just have to be careful the way you run it. Did the same thing on this side. Came by here, went up, bolted the fender, extended it here. Hadn't bolted everything down yet. That's just uh, snugged up loose. All the snorkels are ready to be tightened up. I think I'm gonna have to trim up the uh, face piece a little more. Need to extend the. Uh, plug so it'll be uh, they give you a little bit of wire I'm not sure if it'll be enough this is the wire that came with the kit so I'll have to extend it down and see if it'll fit they give you a uh, piece of hose for the drain line this is the hose that they give you it's just a standard uh, tie on tubing but it I had more left over from the vent line when I did the um, gas tank so I used that one because it was a, about a foot longer I run it through the same line ran it down by the stock one here's the stock one and I'm about to trim it up and uh so I had to remove the uh, the foot guard the reason I wanted to snap this video is I don't know if you can see this I'm try to get it down in there that uh it's pretty much here I'll report out over here you might be able to see a little bit I'm not gonna put this fluid back in there it's full of dirt down in there can't really get the camera angle down in there but uh you can see it right there it's full of dirt so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wash this one out and fill it all up with fresh fluid uh it's probably something you want to look at while you got everything apart is cleaning out your reservoir and make sure you put your vent line back on so go ahead and do that and then i'll try to tighten everything up and then i'll do a final video all right, got everything ran. Uh, like I said last time, I was running the, uh, the inlet and outlet hose and the overflow. I uh, went ahead and threw the risers on there just to see how it would run. Got a little water in here from filling the radiator back up. I thought I had a leak in my radiator. I'd let it run for a little while. Don't think I do. Um, see what I did? I used the wire to extend the fan turn on. Hey. I had more than enough. I didn't think I was going to have enough, so just tucked it around there if I ever need to unplug it. All I have to do now is put the uh, plastics back on, take these off, trim it, and then uh, secure them up the together up here like I did down here with the zip ties. Uh, but I believe that's everything. Uh, had the fan running a second ago. It was making a little bit of noise. That's why I turn it off. That just uh did that while I go just like that to let me know that I don't have any leaks anywhere if uh, you hook that up and you cover your intake and it's still running that means you have a leak somewhere and it's pulling air in somewhere enough to feed it uh, got the reservoir back in I found this tube right here this little black tube is cut in half uh, like I said I just recently bought this bike so uh, some stuff was done to it before if anybody knows what that tube's for or if it's supposed to go somewhere uh, comment let me know I'm just I threw a uh, little extension on it right now and tucked it back here so no water would run into it so it's still vented I'm, I'm thinking it's a vent tube but I'm not 100% sure also there is a hole right here that I'm, I'm gonna have to seal up I'm not sure if that's for some kind of vent or something else um, but uh, if anybody has any comments or questions or can let me know it took me a little while to figure it out and there's a couple of things I have to tidy up but so far I'm pleased with it uh, I think the next thing is I'm gonna have to figure out where to put the speaker tube since I can't put it on the front racks anymore so well I'm thinking I'm doing the two separate ones but we'll see I'm start looking up and doing some research but uh thanks <laughs>